how was lockdown for you then? Like with, with your you know, it was easy. And I didn't struggle because I've been locked down since I was 12. Okay, right. right. So, so you're wondering what's the rest of the world panicking about? Yeah, I'm like, to stay at home. You lot are lucky you can go out with freedom mm. like that, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it with little man as well because he wasn't at school i wasn't at well I was still working because obviously we're a community center and we was a safe place mm. um but it was more from home um but it was nice it was really nice and um i live quite close to my parents as well so it was just like the four of us that's nice um yeah, yeah we're like 10 minutes away from each other <laughs> so that was good i mean there were times where i was like oh i just want to just go eat dinner or something out but I coped with it a lot better than a lot of people. But that's because I've had years of, a whole year of not being able to walk. Mm. So you're not going nowhere. Um, so I, yeah, I feel like when you've had that the last 16 years of your life, seeing people get really, oh my God. And I'm like, could you imagine being that since the age of 12? Yeah. Like having surgery, six months recovery. Having another one, three months recovery. You know, so my life is like an up and down <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there a test for EDS? Mm, I think there is now. No. Not really. There's, no. There would be a genetic test. Okay, right. Um, but they kind of see, like, what confirmed it for them was my heart. So I've got mitral valve prolapse with regurgitation. So basically one of my valves has collapsed. So instead of it opening that way, it's gone in. So then the blood doesn't pump properly. Wow. Um, that was kind of like, um, yeah, she's, she's got that. <laughs> so was so. COVID a scare then for you as well? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, yeah no, it actually was. Um, because even if I get the flu, I could end up in hospital. Wow. So yeah, I was a bit shook. I was like, imagine I get this and this is what ends me. Not a heart attack, COVID. <laughs> so <laughs> I was a bit like, oh. Mm. So I just kept people away for like the first year okay right yeah um but m my close friends didn't want to come near me in case because imagine that i can imagine the guilt yeah. yeah yeah and especially where my heart's compromised my lungs are compromised my organs are compromised it just but i did end up catching covid mm. and funny enough no it was not really funny <laughs> it was my spine that it troubled it oh, was right. my it attacked my spine um I was being sick, couldn't hold down any of my medication. Wow. And it was my back. I couldn't sit down, couldn't stand up. It's just like, that's where the virus went. Um, my head was a bit, but those two weeks was horrible. Mm. But yeah, luckily it was mild.